Near the southern tip of Texas is the most uninsured county in the country. More than half of adults, 18 to 64, here in Hidalgo County, Texas, do not have health insurance. They're generally Hispanics, working class. I'm from McAllen. Born and raised here in McAllen. Yes, sir. In the final week of enrollment for Obamacare, signups on the insurance exchange are surging. We've definitely seen a big increase just these past three weeks of March. We've already surpassed what we did in February. 1,700 submitted applications, and out of those 1,700, officially 850 have enrolled. This is the first uh, step. They need to verify your identity. Are you a U.S. citizen now? Yes. Very busy. <laughs> One after the other. I would say like 15 or so a day. Are you working right now? I to sign an unemployment. The majority have never had health insurance. We had to explain deductibles and co-payments and premiums. They're not used to these. So I'm um, creating their email and their password because they do not have one. We've completely expanded our hours from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And we've also ex uh, added on Saturdays. Do you have any more questions? I was working at this company and it uh, shut down, so we we're left with that insurance. And now I'm working in some other places as a home health provider, but um, we don't have that opportunity to have insurance. Not all companies offer that. I really need the insurance subsidy. I never heard of that, about that. So all, in, all I had in my mind was that I had to pay full price each month for the policy. <laughs> so I'm glad, I'm happy with it. Per person income in this county is about $14,000 a year. 35% of the population falls below the poverty line. At the McAllen Public Library, people are lining up to sign up. Eight to 10 per hour is what we're gonna be doing today. Last night we stayed probably till around 8.30, 9 o'clock. Does everybody have an appointment yet? Didn't see that, Los Okay. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Good luck to you guys. This is my first time. I never in my life had an uh, had insurance, so now I can go more freely if I get see, to see the doctor or the dentist. So I'm happy. But it's not good news for everyone. Paula did not get the federal subsidy she was hoping for. This is expensive. Too expensive? Expensive. The people who have never had insurance before, they are so happy. But some of them, they're, they prefer to just pay the 1% penalty, and that's it. It's cheaper for them. And since Texas is a state that did not expand Medicaid, health coverage for the very poor, many below the poverty line will remain uninsured. I'm sad because me and my kids, I don't, I don't qualify for the Obama, Obama care insurance. And why is that? Why? Because my income is too, too low. And that's why. People like Danny will have to continue getting limited medical care from local nonprofit clinics or drive 20 minutes to Mexico. I was sitting in the lobby and I heard people talking about why do we have to go to Mexico to go to the dentist or why do we have to go over there to get our medications. That's what they can afford, but they have to do it. At least tens of thousands will continue without health insurance in this county and there is still plenty of confusion on the streets about the new law. But it's a historic week for those who are enrolling, like Paula. You're eligible for a tax credit of 337 each month. There's bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. With the reduction, it went down to 7207. It's been okay, 20 years now, right? Right. 20 years that I haven't had insurance. So now I can breathe. Breathe a little bit. Uh -huh. Not getting nervous no more, you know. Yeah. No. And she's been getting kind of like sick, sick lately, you know. You're emotional. Yes. <laughs> Can you explain to me why? Okay. <laughs> You're happy, Mom? That's good. <coughs> Jordan Malter, CNN Money, Hidalgo County, Texas.